If you find yourself scrolling through thousands of pictures to find that right picture to send to your friends and family and you want to know how to organize your pictures better then you are in the right video. In this video I will show you tips and techniques on how to organize your pictures so that you can get to the right picture as fast as possible and send it to your friends and family without having to keep scrolling through thousands and thousands of pictures to get to it. So let's get started. Oh, and before we get started, if you are new to this channel, then please do subscribe. The thing I forgot to mention is that I'm using Samsung Android for this video. But even if you have a phone of a different brand, definitely check out this video because most brands will have similar functions and navigation. So to be able to find your pictures quickly for Samsung Android, you just click on gallery. By default, most phones would organize your pictures into some standard existing folders like your most recent pictures would be in the recent folder. If you've taken screenshots using your mobile, that would be in your screenshots folder. If you've downloaded a picture on your mobile, that would be in your downloads folder. If you have received pictures using the WhatsApp mobile app, that would be in the WhatsApp images folder. These are some of the default folders. If you've tagged pictures as favorites, then they would be in the favorites folder. Now I have a separate video in terms of how to tag and untag your favorite pictures so that they appear in the favorites folder definitely check this video out as well if you're interested in that function so if you tag and untag your pictures as favorites then they would be sitting in this favorites folder so the reason the favorites the screenshots downloads whatsapp images these are some of the folders that the phone offers by default and it will automatically organize your pictures into these folders so there are other folders that you can create on your own and we'll come to that particular tip soon but before we move on i wanted to tell you one more thing you can rename your pictures and then it becomes easy to use the search function uh, to be able to find that picture so for example uh, this is a, one of my videos and i can go to details and you can see that here it has the date stamp on it and if I click on edit then it gives me the details of when um, of the date as well as the time and then it's got its name here in this case I've already renamed it but you can simply click on this and give it whatever name you want so here I've called it photo of all phones dot mp4 so then if I uh, save this particular name and then if I go back to gallery albums and if I click on search and then I say photo org because in the name that I had given it you can see that that particular video then comes up because I had renamed that video given it a name I remembered that name and therefore I can click on this and I can get this video easily rather than having to scroll through a number uh, thousands of pictures and videos. Another way to easily organize and quickly find your pictures is to organize them into various albums or group of albums. So if you, I'll do this again, so if you click on the plus button in gallery, it will give you a number of options. Uh, so it says you can create a new album or you could have an auto updating album i'll come to auto updating album a bit later in this video uh, the third option that you can see here is to create a group of related albums or you can create an album that you can share uh, with your family or friends so over here you can see that i have created a group of albums and i have named it youtube similarly i have created separate albums called as home and seminars and i move specific pictures into these albums and groups uh, so i'll just show you how to create firstly an album and then a group of albums if you click on the plus button and then click on create a new album and you can give it a name let's just call it album one for now and then click on create so here you can see i did create an album one but i can't see it over here so yes the reason why i cannot see it is because it is now asking me to select items 
so if i go to if you see on the top of the screen it says select item so if i just let's say go to my recent pictures and if i select this particular item and then i go done it'll ask me copy or move one image now i just want to create a copy of this image if i say move then likely the image will move out of the recent um, album into your newly created album one so i'll just say copy so it says copy is completed and now you can see album one so if i click on album one then you can see that the picture has been moved into album one but can i also see this picture in recents yes i can so so that's how you create an individual album and you can move you can call it whatever you want and then you can move pictures into that album now you can create a group of albums as well so let's say i want to create a group then i go to this plus button and then i select this option group create a group of related albums so it's saying group three so let's just leave it at group three and go to create so now i can see the group three out here if i click on group three it says add album so if i click on add albums and i can add albums to it so i can select what albums i want to move into group 3 so let's say i select instagram and album 1 or maybe i just want to move my newly created album 1 to group 3 so i will deselect instagram here so i'll just move album 1 into group 3 and then i click on add so now you can see that group 3 has got this album 1 so if i go back and then click on group 3 group 3 will now have album 1 in here now i can click on these um, three dots towards the right and continue to add more albums so i can create a new album within this group so it says create an album let's just call it album 2 and then we go to create and then again it'll ask you to select what items you want to move into this album too so let's say if i go into my favorites picture and i want to move this dog into that particular album i click on done and again it'll ask me whether i want to move or copy so i'll just go copy and then it creates a copy of this picture and album too so now this group which is uh, group three that we've just created has got two albums album one and album two with the pictures that we have moved in now if you click on let's say album two you can continue to add more pictures it will ask you where you know it will show you all the folders or all the albums that you have uh, and it will ask you what pictures you want to move select these pictures and then either move or copy them into that particular album now i don't want to so i'll just go back I go into my albums what are the other options that it's giving me so i can continue to if i click on add albums i can add any of the existing albums into this particular group or i can create a new album like we just saw or i can create another group within this group so if i simply go to create group and go to group four i go create um, so it has created another group within this group three so if i click on group three now it's got two albums within it plus it's got this newly created group and i can continue to add more albums within this group so this is how you can go about organizing and easily finding your pictures and how you name these groups and albums uh, will make it even easier the feature that we saw was the auto updating album so if i click on the plus button again the second option here is the auto updating album the auto updating album will auto update with the picture that you select so if i click on auto updating album here it's asking me to enter the album name so let's call this auto update with my fix so then i go create so as soon as i click on create it gives me the pictures of all the people 
and these are the people who appear in pictures that I've taken on my phone. So in this case, it's asking me to select the people that I want to include in my auto updating album. So here I'm selecting just myself. I can select more people if I want. Um, so if I select myself and then if I click on done, the auto updating album has then been created and it's got 934 pictures, which would all be pictures that contain my photos. So if you had selected other people that came up, then it would have their pictures as well, which it collects from all the other thousands of pictures that you have on your phone. So that's how you create an auto update album, which means that you can have the pictures of a particular person within that particular folder. So then instead of having to scroll through maybe all the 10,000 pictures that you have on your phone, you just have to scroll through what's this number 934 pictures of that particular person or whatever the number is, whatever the number of pictures you have taken with that particular person. And then you just have, it just sort of is a subset of having to unnecessarily scroll through so many pictures uh, just to get to that one picture. If you know who's in the picture, then you can create an auto updating album for that particular person. Before we move on to the last and the coolest tip, if you want to know how to download these photos onto your computer, especially if you have a really old computer and you have to download them from your brand new Samsung phone onto your computer, then make sure you check out the link in the description, which has a video on how to download your photos from your phone to your computer and what you need to look out for. Also, if you still haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button now. Here's the coolest tip and this really blew my mind in terms of how quickly and how easily you can find your pictures. And that is if you click on albums in gallery um, and then go to search, you can see that the search gives you a number of options. So you can search by people. Um, so it will again show you, you can select the person that you want and you can search for all their pictures. So you can search by location. If you click on this arrow here, it will show you all the pictures and the phone has automatically categorized them as per location. So that again minimizes your time to have to scroll through tens of thousands of pictures. The short types, so you know where you have taken selfies, let's say. So these are all the selfies that I've taken and you can again shortlist and, uh, and this is again a way of minimizing the number of pictures you have to scroll through so if you know that uh, you're searching for a particular selfie then you can click on the selfie icon it'll show you all the selfies that you have taken or if you've taken pictures in a portrait mode or director's view so by short types uh, if you've got any documents uh, which is you know like if you've scanned uh, and taken photos of a particular document you can find your pictures through documents so what this means is that it's the phone has automatically categorized these pictures uh, so it minimizes the amount of photos that you have to scroll through if you know that whether if you are searching for a particular document or uh, if you know you want a picture that you've taken at a particular location or by a particular shot type. Last option you can see here is things and scenery so if I click on this arrow it shows you all your pictures which are categorized by things or scenery so the phone again has automatically categorized them as per you know so let's say the second one you can see is I've got 17 pictures there with animals in there I've got 17 pictures with beaches 18 which have got bags 18 pictures with birds um, there's deserts about 50 pictures which have got deserts in them drinks which is 128 pictures that have got drinks dogs there's about 10 pictures with dogs so let's see dogs and yeah, I've got like 10 pictures of dogs in there. So if I'm trying to find a dog's picture, I can definitely click on this category, dogs under the search option. And that again, minimizes my time to scroll through tens and thousands of pictures to find the picture of a particular dog that I want to send, which I had taken on my phone. Uh, another thing that you can do is if, the, if what you're searching for is not here that's the phone has not automatically categorized it um, then you can do your own search so for example I can simply search on yellow I'm trying to find a picture with all the yellows in it and it shows me all these 
picture so there's 282 pictures which have the color yellow in them so if I click on this arrow it will show me all the pictures which have the color uh, yellow in them and then you know I can simply oh, this, you know, find my picture that I was searching for select it and then I can click on share I can simply share it with whoever I want to share it or do whatever I want to do with it you know, I can edit it or, or set it as a wallpaper or whatever but the the idea here is to be able to find your pictures quickly from the tens and thousands of pictures and videos this was the last option things and scenery now the search that I did for uh, the word yellow you can also do, uh, do it in uh, your gallery so if you simply click on gallery and then click on the search icon and in this search type the word yellow search and it brings up the same results as it did in the other path of navigation that we saw earlier so it's brought up all, every, all the pictures that have yellow in it except this scroll album out of 282 pictures instead of having to scroll through hundreds and thousands of pictures so friends those were all the cool tips and if you want to know how to organize your photos better so that you can get to them fast enough without having to scroll through thousands of them, then you need to keep watching these videos and the tips and techniques in this video. Let me know how you found this video in your comments below. And if you use any other ways besides the ones that are shown in this video to organize your photos better. I look forward to reading all your comments. Thanks for watching.